welcome to lesson 3 of the Make a DVD project. In this lesson we will look at how to make the DVD menu. Basically the main page of a DVD menu has two buttons, Play and Scene. If one clicks Play, the DVD will play all the videos in sequence. The Scenes button takes one to a second page that shows thumbnails of the videos on the DVD. That allows the viewer to select a specific scene to start with. Well, let's open our project. So here we go. Navigating to my DVD project folder. And looking down, there it is. Make a DVD project. That's the project file. Double click that. It will open DVD Maker with our three files in. And I'll click on Next. That takes us to the menu area. And as we can see, there's the Play button, the Scenes button. And it shows something. And at the moment, on this side, we have all the menu styles that we can choose from. Starting from these two baby ones. Very nice to make a D DVD with pictures of your newborn. So there are quite a few. I think counted them as over 20 different ones to choose. At the moment, Shatter is selected. <laughs> it sounds really strange. But it doesn't matter. We have a title, play and scenes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preview this and then click the menu. So this is the menu that we will have. As you can see it is showing in the background scenes which is quite distracting I find. But it has a play button. If I click that it starts. If I click the Scenes button, it gives me little thumbnails of the different videos. Safari, Birds, and the last one, The Fort. So that is what we want. But there are, in my view, too many things moving around. So we'll try and fix that as good as we can. First, we want to look at the menu text. So we click that. And when you're in the menu text, it shows you the main screen. This is the sub screen where the thumbnails of the scenes will appear. So I'll call this Run Tom. Bore National Park. And you can see the preview on the right there. I'll change that to Play All to make it clear. And this I might say Select Seats. So there we go. We can do that. You can see the buttons have changed. Once we're happy, we click Change Text. Now, you can play around with all these different choices. They are quite different and quite dramatic. Uh, I'm going to choose this one. And let's have a look at how it actually works. To have a look how it really works. So it'll start with a background here, Title. Play all, select scenes, and you have little things flying past. Let's see. Click to preview, click the menu, and this is what it will look like. So it gives you the various things flying past. Very quite confusing, but hey. And if I click on select scenes, it gives me the three thumbnails. That takes me back. So I'm just going to change the background and have that stationary. So I'm back here. 
go to customize the menu and so I can put anything in the foreground and the background so it is the background that I want to change and I'm not going to put a video I'm going to put a still image so I'll go to my project where am I? let's go to video project make a DVD project in the fort I've got a nice picture that I'm going to use that one is just nice so I'm adding that and there you could see a picture of the fort add the title up there against the sky I think that works quite well the secondary page shows the same background but slightly dimmed out I'm happy with that and I'm also happy I can change how these things look rectangle uh, that's okay I think I'll still stick with let's see performance no I don't like that so with this theme I think let's have a look photograph was the one rectangle photographs I'll go with that change the style and now I'm happy so the last step is to actually burn the DVD that takes quite a bit of time because although we've put our menu together DVD maker now has to transcode everything into an MPEG-2 stream so there's a lot of conversion to do transcoding is the fancy word for that before it will actually burn the DVD so let's have a look I've put the DVD the blank DVD in my DVD click burn so it gives me this little thing it says okay please wait now this is going to take a lot of time but I, during editing I will speed that up when it gets close to the end of the conversion process you will hear DVD maker doing all kinds of things on your DVD as it writes the initial information that is needed on the DVD that is normal don't worry it's confusing when suddenly it starts working before it has completed but that's how it works we're almost there before the end it will give you an option if you want to burn several let's say you want to send DVDs to several family members or clients or students in your class you can have a stack of them ready and you can just burn them one after the other so it'll give us that option as you'll see in a second so it spews out the DVD and it says you've done everything you're ready do you want to make more copies you could at this point we'll only make the one though so I'll say close and the project is done I always like to save because hey we might want to do this again and last I'll close that I'll put the DVD back in and view it in Windows Media Player so there back in the DVD machine now this is just the DVD machine on my computer it's not a real player okay just let me adjust it so there it is our menu beautiful menu title play all select seeds I'll go to select seeds there are our individual seeds and I'll choose birds and here it plays you will notice that it seems to be squished everybody's got sort of long faces don't freak out that is normal absolutely normal uh, Windows 
media player is not a proper DVD machine. If you put this into a proper DVD machine, it will recognize that you want to play this widescreen. And it will then stretch the video out to 16 by 9. And everything will appear normal. I know it's very confusing, but really, that is it. It works like that. Well, that completes our Make a DVD project course. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to take some of our other courses.